Hello, you're welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radku Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into um, Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well a uh, Capricorn, uh, Capricorn Rising. Uh, with the general tarot reading um, March 1st up until March 7th, 2021. And uh, if you are interested, guys, in a personal reading with me or if you want to take uh, my tarot classes, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a, a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services. So with that being said, moving to Capricorn reading straight away of the week. And the first card, guys, that you do have, that is going to be the High Priestess, followed by uh, the Knight of Cups. Moving next, what we do have, that is going to be the Chariot, followed by uh, the Page of Pentacles. And the last one that you do have for you, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. So these, uh, these five cards. And um, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw all of the cards, I said, oh my God, what a mess. And uh, it's a mess not because, you know, it's, it's something bad or because it, it's so scattered. I, I guess there are, there are going to be more than just one thing going on into your life uh, into, the next, uh, into the next week. And it's a mess of a reading. It's not a mess of a life that you're going to have there. And... Um, uh, here you do start the week off with uh, the uh, with the high priestess, and that is going to be rather quite of a slow start. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be in productive start. It's going to be a slow start because the very first couple of days, probably of of the week, you're going to find yourself here, Capricorn, to to just do whatever you have planned to do. You're going to do your job, and your job is not it's not going to have any uh, you know uh, any surprises, neither good or bad. Your job is going to be just your job. Relationship wise, however, with the high priest, with the high priestess, things are looking very different. Uh, uh, in terms of relationship, it's uh, it's very likely that is especially true if you are already committed uh, and you do have uh, a um, a thing going on there. Uh, it is that the things in between you and your partner, or things in between you and your person of interest as well, are going to um, escalate. And under escalate, I mean going to get. A deeper and deeper so the commitment will uh, will improve if we may say it that way that is because the high priestess connects people uh, through their souls that's why the high priestess is the card for soulmates not the lovers card but the high priestess connects people through their souls so at the start of the week you are going to become more sensitive about your partner and about your person of interest and that will be true from the other side as well, that they will become more sensitive to you also. That is because the High Priestess works both ways. But um, through that sensation, it's pretty much where you are going to start uh, sensing what they need and they're going to start sensing what you need as well. And, and my point here is that it is highly unlikely that at the start of this week, you're going to have certain predicaments in terms of uh, relationships should the relationships it, should the relationship is going well and if the relationship is on the rock uh, it's highly likely that at the start of the week you are to uh, place each other uh, into each other's shoes and see uh, and pretty much see that the most of the problems you do have in between one another uh, they, they don't make any sense it's simply there is no point going forward uh, how can I say, digging up that problem, but instead it is best to uh, to leave it aside. And uh, right after that, we do have the Knight of Cups. And this is where the thing forks. This is where the thing branches up. Knight of Cups is going to be an individual in your environment. It could be somebody you know. It could be somebody brand new as well. It doesn't matter. But either what you are trying to develop or either you alone happens to be something that this person wants. And not just only wants, Knights of Cups, they are always driven by the dreams of their heart. 
and either what you do is a dream of their heart or either you are a dream of, of their heart. And this is where the things branches up very much. Now, if you are single though, these two like that, I hate saying it, but they pretty much could speak the appearance of a soulmate. I mean, it's, it's just, and I hate saying it because tarot isn't about that, isn't about telling you things that, that are carved in stones. But if somebody addresses me, is, my, that's, is that my soulmate and I draw these two cards? Yeah, definitely. All right. I mean, only, it's only with the first one I would have said that. But the second one, it is just, you know, uh, it's, it's quenching it up. And uh, yeah, and imagine, and imagine this development, you know, you are in a very good marriage and suddenly someone shows up and it appears that you are the dream of their heart. Mm, that love, that love triangle, man. And uh, it falls to you to decide what, what you do want. But in that case, I do believe that the bonding between you and your current partner is going to be stronger than what this person, Knights of Cups, um, can offer to you. Uh, but generally what the Knights of Cups is all about, it is, like I said, they do only follow the dreams of their heart, uh, which either you happens to be such or something you do. And uh, also Knights of Cups, they do not believe in chances. They do not believe in coincidences. They do not believe in luck either. So they're going to put pretty uh, mighty efforts to accomplish this dream. They're not going to leave it to uh, to either happen or not by a chance. Uh, the other thing about the Knights of Cups, though, it is that they are very wishful thinking in a sense of that they can promise you everything and they genuinely mean what they promise. Problem with that promise is that they don't have the means yet to accomplish it. They may have the means, but currently they don't. So uh, they could uh, they could kind of like direct you or address you, I'm sorry, with a empty promises. And uh, you may end up disappointed. So as soon as this person shows up and start promising you things, take them with the grain of salt. And right after the appearance of this individual, we do have the chariot card. And this is a, a warning for you uh, about the contribution in term of uh, you and the uh, Knights of Cups because the Knights of Cups puts a, a narrative of the reading that you will have a chance to make uh, some kind of a partnership. It could be as well a business partnership. You know, you do have an idea for a business and it happens to be something that this person wants as well and wants to develop it with you. But as we said, these people, they do have a wishful thinking or they have it more than they should. And here the chariot is a warning sign not to jump into it prematurely, but instead try to, uh, how can I say, try to, uh, to get to know the individual better. That is in case you do want to make a contribution or rather like to make a cooperation with the Knights of Cups, regardless if it is about relationship, regardless if it is about career. Uh, the chariot also, however, points some other things. Uh, first of all, it points that Aside from the cooperation, uh, your, your personal endeavors, you know, your personal acts, your personal tasks, you, uh, you Capricorn will be able to throughout the week, it's, uh, uh, oh my God, <laughs> throughout the week, if not in the future, to perform them exceptionally well. That is because the chariot points that you are going to enjoy the look of your hard work. You're also going to have a wish fulfillment uh, to a certain degree or to a certain extent as well. Some of you are going to have a huge wish fulfillment. Others, not that big, but nonetheless, it's a uh, wish fulfillment. It's going to be the very least such a, a big thing that you're going to feel very proud of yourself. So proud and so um, confident, in fact, that at this point you will decide to undertake enterprises, tasks, tasks or endeavors that beforehand you thought that they are overwhelming or beforehand you thought that you won't be able to manage them or it is simply you are not up to it in a sense of you don't have what it takes. This time around, 
you are to uh, push forward very determined and uh, with a, a very strong and I could say as well a iron will and uh, you will triumph because if not anything else the chariot uh, signifies a triumph against the odds and right after this state of yours this determination we do have another individual showing up here that is the page of pentacles so a page of pentacles uh, that could be again somebody that you know it could be also somebody new although i do believe that it is somebody you already know because page of pentacles they are usually people that are friends of yours they are they are because mm, their appearance happens of their devotion and nobody can be devoted to something that they just have met right but the page of pentacles happen to be devoted either to you or either to your goal and uh yeah that that is a very faithful companion that you're going to have that it is very loyal companion that you're going to have because from another hand page of pentacles they do not do things in vain they always know their worth the problem with the page of pentacles it is that they are perfectionists what i mean it is that they do strive for perfection uh, everything is in their mind is ideal and uh, for that reason uh, how can I say for that reason they are they, they are finding it very difficult to keep up with the pace and you may find yourself aggravated or irritated that they are a two steps behind than what you want them to be at and they are very they are very difficult to keep up with with your pace to, to keep up with the endeavor itself um, page of pentacles like i said that could be somebody you do know and considering the previous cards here especially with the high priestess as a uh, emotional bond as a bond of souls you know that could happen to be a friend of yours that have a more than friendship towards you and now they are finding the uh, the courage if you will or the guts to display that in front of you and I do believe that that is going to be the case that is because we do have the last one of the nine of swords and at the end of the week you're going to have a lot to think about you're going to have uh, to uh, you you are going to think about um, the how can I say the mono, the mo, mo, monotonosity the monotonous nature you know of your work and as well of your relationship life as the uh, high priest has stated and what are going to be the consequences of it you are going to think about what are going to be the consequences of the promises of the knights of cups the very first individual that steps up throughout the week and how you can amplify the good consequences and how you can diminish the negative consequences should there be any what are going to be the consequences if you jump with the business proposition if that's what they are coming about or the relationship thing like we said that branches up in so many different directions so you're going to think about the consequences of every single direction you're going to think about the consequences of the page of pentacles as well uh, the consequences of them not being able to keep up with the pace the consequences of what happens if uh, if in your case that is somebody that was a friend of yours a very good one but now they want something more than a friendship what are going to be the consequences of jumping into a relationship with them what are going to be the consequences if you do not do it so here you are going to think about the long term either pros on co or cons of your decisions you will have to make in regards to these two people that are going to appear in ir um, how can i say uh, situations that have nothing to do with one another so these are a two different people in two different situations and uh yeah i mean at the end of the day the choice is yours uh, what is important here to know with the uh, nine of swords it is that you are going to find yourself quite scared of certain some of the consequences that you're going to think about and that will be completely normal and uh, the nine of swords it's a call to stand against your fears because at the end of the day the fear it is what rots the soul and we thought about a soul bond 
didn't we, at the start of the reading. So you can't bind your soul with your soulmate or with a project or, you know, with something you want to do, something you want to be, if you are afraid of its consequences. And that is your test. That is your guidance. That is your lesson you need to learn throughout this week, March 1st up until March 7th, 2021. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, guys. I do apologize if it was a scattered. I do apologize if it if it didn't make much sense to you, but you know there was so much to cover from it, and it could branch into so many different possibilities or rather like developments. So sometimes it happens like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.